Hello everyone, magandang araw sa inyo lahat. Welcome to V-Ray SketchUp Series. Today we're going to render in V-Ray using another type of V-Ray light, the spotlight, and we're starting right away. <music> In the V-Ray Lights toolbar, let's click on the Spotlight button and place our Spotlight in the scene. Let's align this Spotlight in this direction. In the Lights tab of our V-Ray Asset Editor, we can see the V-Ray Spotlight that we have just placed in the scene. The default intensity is set to 30 and the units, and the units is in scalar. The angles, the cone angle is set to 1 and the penumbra angle to 0. In the options section, I have previously done some changes. These are not the default settings for the decay. I, ch I chose uh, inverse square and in the penumbra fall up, I switched to smooth cubic. And the shadows, I uh, set it to 5. The default setting of our sunlight is enabled and the intensity multiplier is set to 1. With these settings, mostly default ones, let's take our initial render. We got this scene because our default sunlight is enabled. So let's uncheck this box. And let's set our intensity multiplier to zero. Let's go to our V-Ray Spotlight. Let's set our intensity to 500. Now let's make our units lumens because it's an artificial light. Let's go to the settings tab and in the camera section, the default exposure value is set to 14.24. We must lower this value to brighten our scene because if we just hit render, Without lowering our exposure value, we get this scene. Let's make this 6 and hit render. To change the diameter of our spotlight, just go to cone angle and adjust this value in small increments. To increase the diameter, let's try Cone angle with a value of 2 will give us this scene.
There are three important components to achieve a photorealistic spotlight effect. They are the light fixture, the spotlight element, and the light source. In this scene, we don't have that third component. Let's go to our SketchUp model and create our light source. Let's place an Omni light in this spot. Before we click render, let me show you the settings I just made. Our default sunlight is disabled. The V-ray light that we have just placed in the scene has an intensity of 50. The units is in scalar. And we have this additional settings. The V-ray spotlight the intensity is set to 500. The units is in lumens, the cone angle is set to 1, and the penumbra angle is set to 5. In the option sections, the decay is set to inverse square. The penumbra fall up is in smooth cubic. And in the camera setting, I set the exposure value to 5. Now let's click render. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you soon. Mabuhay ang mga Pinoy visualizers.